All right, guys, my name is Ellis Dudley. I'm the president and owner of Dudley Accounting Services, also partnered with Badu Tax Services. And today I'm going to bring to you guys something that we're really passionate about within our company, which we focus really on the real estate uh, industry. And that is new real estate professionals. New, if you're new to the real estate profession and you're just now getting started, you guys want to take a uh, full advantage of this and uh, full advantage of this knowledge that I'm about to share with you guys. So we want to know how to keep more of what you earn. So we know most real estate agents get into the business, they make a crap ton of money off of transactions that they make when they, you know, buy or sell a house for a client. And that income usually comes to them from the company that they work for through a 1099. Um, what we want to be aware of, if we receive income through a 1099 from a company we work for, all of that income, let's say if we have $100,000 in income after expenses, is all subject to a thing called self-employment tax, which is FICA, Medicare, and Social Security. Usually, if you are employed, you, you have your employer withhold certain amounts from your paycheck to cover this amount. But if you're receiving a 1099 as a real estate professional, you're paying this 15.3% in self-employment tax. Um, also, we want to be aware of, after you're paying the 15.3% in self-employment tax, you also this income is also subject to income tax, so your regular income tax. So this whole bill could be around 40% in tax liability. Also, some people get smart and they're like, oh, I'm going to start a business and I'm going to you know, you know, be more efficient with my business and I'm going to have more benefits. Actually, no. So a lot of people who start sole proprietorships or LLCs, LLC has a little bit more coverage in it. Uh, they actually, like I said, we have an example of $100,000 as well. It's the same thing. They're subject to 15.3% in self-employment tax. The thing with self, the sole proprietorship and also the 1099, you guys can make four um, estimated payments throughout the year to help combat this tax liability. So those estimated payments help combat the tax liability. Therefore, you're not paying that much in taxes when uh, tax time comes around. But once you're, you're a sole prop or you're an LLC, you have $100,000 subject to 15.3% in uh, self-employment tax, that's Medicare and Social Security. And it's also subject to your regular income, so which is also around a 40% tax liability. So where we come in and what we do as an op firm, we go in and we help real estate professionals form the entities correctly. So we go, go in and do our entity reformation, which in this case, the $100,000 is now split into two different things. So we give you a, a reasonable salary of $40,000 depending on the income you have after expenses and this $40,000 is subject to the 15.3% uh, tax. Then it's subject to income taxes just like these other two but it's only $40,000. The $60,000 we can take as a distribution on our K-1 and this is only subject to the income tax is not subject to the self-employment tax. So this is about an $8,000 to $9,000 tax savings. So if you guys want to take advantage of this, of this debt,